Good morning, everyone. Aja here from Pandemonium. It is actually a very beautiful morning, nice and sunny with a cool breeze. It was slam packed in here at this Cracker Barrel, but there is a couple having, or three people having a yelling match over here in the corner. And it kind of cleared out the parking lot. It's just weird. They're, they're still over there yelling at each other. And I think the lady's holding a golf club. But, oh Lord, she just threw a machete at him. What the heck? She just threw a machete at him. Oh. Oh my God. Okay, you ready to get going? I'm ready to get out of here and stuff. What's going on with that? I'm just not sure. Definitely time to move on. Oh, here comes the cop again. Uh -oh. oh no. Come on, pull up further. Uh, this other person will get involved? Look, decide to pull up and check in on what's going on over here. Oh, I other, guess more their friends. We just found the people in this red car that pulled up. We might have called their friends. I don't know. The cops over there standing by that van. He came back. Oh, another truck. Another and another cop car. Well, that's definitely um, a weird way to wake up on such a lovely day. Before any more drama happens, head southeast toward Gateway Boulevard. Definitely glad to be getting on the road. Today we should be getting into South Carolina. Our first leg of the trip is 73 miles. We're just gonna stop and then probably carry on from there. We were gonna try to stop into Savannah since we're so close by, but decided not to because it's already getting very close to the middle of the month and I want it to be in South Carolina. In 100 feet, turn right onto Gateway Boulevard East. Will do by the Take beginning the right Gateway Boulevard of East. March. And it's, like I said, already in the middle. In 600 feet, turn left onto Al Henderson Boulevard, Gateway Boulevard East. Okay. Yeah, that was... Take the next left onto Al Henderson Very Boulevard, dramatic. Gateway Boulevard East, I then turn right yelling. onto Georgia 204 West. When I came out and just the RVs just started clearing out. That was a very busy cracker barrel. Oh, well, what can you do? Okay, back on 95. I have figured out my microphone situation. Some people think I had changed microphones, but I didn't. There are three levels on the microphone and it allows me to, I guess, reduce the, I thought it was the volume, so I was just turning it up. But when I turn it all the way up, it allows more background noise and halfway is less background noise. And then the first setting is no background noise. It's pretty, uh, cuts out a lot of the background noise and during driving scenes it's just better because the road noise can be a bit loud the tire sound so for driving scenes I'm gonna probably set it to the lowest and then if I'm doing a outside scene I'll set it to the highest because that way you can hear everything else but we'll test it and see how it works and go from there one hour and one minute, 71 miles. And we're gonna stay on 95 until I exit.
Side winds are awful today. It's ridiculous. Very strong gusts that um, from time to time try to push me sideways. I have to definitely keep a firm grip on the steering wheel. The traffic in Savannah was kind of busy. Not too awful, but there was a bit of a slowdown. Reach Evanham County, and this is Savannah River that we're crossing now. Muddy Waters is a brown river. Welcome to South Carolina. Thank you, Charlie. Welcome to South Carolina, everybody. Yay, we made it. Definitely wasn't too bad of a trip. And I see the South Carolina state flag blowing in the wind up there with the American flag above it. The South Carolina state flag is actually a blue flag with a, a kind of crescent moon and a palm tree. I'm glad to be back in my home state for a visit. This is where I was originally from. Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. How far are we from Myrtle Beach? Myrtle Beach is 222 miles away from your current location by car. Okay, so a little over 200 miles. Thanks, Bev. So, Charlie's the one on the GPS, which is still Google Maps, but whenever I ask a question, Bev chimes in. So here's the South Carolina Welcome Center. Hello, South Carolina. We're just gonna keep on going. Normally I do like to stop at the welcome centers and take a look around and stuff. Well, that one definitely seems busy, wow. Welcome to South Carolina. Gas here is 294 for unleaded and 381 or 91 depending on cash or credit at this pilot coming up. US 278, two miles, Florence 159. So Florence is about an hour west of Myrtle Beach. Mumu all bundled up in her bed. <laughs> Looking very comfortable. Are you having some um, daylight savings lag, Moo Moo? I didn't mention it. We did, I think, lose an hour because of daylight savings, which we do not have in Arizona. Oh, look at those bikes going by. Oh, I remember towing a vehicle like that on the dolly did not like having to hitch up like that. Not to mention the big dollies hooked to your rig. I think we've made it to exit 53, which is our stopping point. Walboro, I think it was. Yeah, Walterboro. Barnville and Hampton is to the west. left. Wow, this Cracker Barrel is busy. We will not be staying. We'll only probably be here, like a layover for an hour. Probably need to eat some breakfast. We kind of got out of the last place in a hurry because all the drama. So either I'll go inside and grab some breakfast or I'll just fix me something quick. I'm not sure yet. Cracker Barrel breakfast does sound good. Excuse me, excuse me. She's supposed to be taking a pee break. <laughs> oh, she did take a pee break? Now it's cuddle times. It is cuddle time. <laughs> hey, Belle. And right for my rig. <laughs> is it treat time? She's like, yeah, she's like, I need a treat this morning. What are you looking for, this? Oh my God. She's <laughs> One bite. Come on, Bella, geez. No, that's it, honey, sorry. <laughs> She's still chewing. 
Yeah, uh-huh, my finger along with it. What you wagging your tail about, huh? You think you're getting something? Yeah. What are you getting? You want to get? You want to get? Oh! Uh. <laughs> Since we're just doing a layover, I decided to make me something. I had biscuits in the refrigerator from the last time we ate at Cracker Barrel. And then I just made an egg, spinach, and cheese with bacon. Biscuit. Mmm, look at that. Yummy. And then a banana and some blackberries. Mmm. Good, good. Well, that was definitely yummy. Probably healthier than going in and getting something to eat. I just got rid of trash and we should probably be getting back on the road in about 40 minutes or so. Right, Mumu? She's just going to sunbathe. <laughs> One of her favorite pastimes. We just want to get further down the road before it gets too late because I want to stop at a Walmart and get some shopping done. So we're going to find a campground that is pretty far from everything. So I want to make sure I'm completely stocked up because I think the closest town is 40 miles away. Oh, pretty. The dogwoods are in bloom. That's a telltale sign of spring. It's in the air. All right, we will not be getting back on 95, although we could take 95 to Florence and head into Myrtle Beach, but then we'll bypass the camping area. So we're going to continue on 17 and, and closer towards Charleston, South Carolina. This trip isn't as long as the first one. This one is only 40 miles. Cute little town. Didn't see any signs. Oops, I guess I should stop. Oh, I see. Welcome to historic downtown Walterboro. At the light, turn right onto US 17 Alternate North, Richmond Street. All right. That's where we'll be headed. If you go straight ahead, that's 15 North. But we definitely want to stay on this Alternate 17. There is a main 17, but that goes directly into Charleston, and we kind of want to bypass that area. Could be a little busy with traffic. This is very cute through here. Love this old southern town. Oh, that looks dangerous. The wires going through the trees there, or the limbs just hanging off of the wires. Somerville, 32 miles to the left, and Charleston, 46 miles to the right. Welcome to Cottageville, another small little town here in South Carolina. Definitely a beautiful day. Wow, another dogwood in bloom. How pretty. I don't see any of the magnolias blooming. I thought uh, maybe they're summer bloomers. Yeah, a lot of cute little towns in South Carolina. So we only have about 22 miles left on this trip. Take the next right onto East Carolina Avenue. We're about three and a half miles from our stopping point, our second stopping point. It's beautiful through here. In 800 feet, turn left onto South Carolina 165, Berlin G. Myers Parkway. Will do. Use the left lane to continue on County Road S18199. Okay, redirected. In 800 feet, turn left onto Martin Lane. 
In a quarter mile, right, turn up, left on a stone's bowl lift. Okay, well, that wasn't as bad as the last time we made that wrong turn. Uh, is that you, what are you saying? That wasn't, is that a reminder? Or is that a little in my face that that's not as bad as the last time I screwed up? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Are we feeling a little guilty? I said we. <laughs> That was all me. That was all me. Now, I just kind of follow along. I really should pay attention to the GPS and watch, too. Well, you did that one time and was going to take that left, but we wasn't supposed to. True, yeah, because our GPS don't always line up. Take the next right onto South Carolina 165 for Lynn G. Myers Parkway. All right, now we're back on track. Yeah, we've definitely had that happen before where my GPS will tell me to go one way and Dave's will tell him to go another way. It's just, I don't know if it's a setting, but anyways, we're now headed in the right direction. That's why usually I just follow because sometimes my GPS will tell me to take a right or left and um, I'm not supposed to. Monk's Corner. I remember that area. In a quarter mile, turn right after Panera Bread on the right. Since I did grow up in this area, I've been to Monk's Corner before, small town. In 600 feet, turn left. Parking lot. Feet, turn right okay, we got lane. it, Charlie. Thank you. I'm just gonna park in this parking lot over here. We've made it here to Wally World. I'm gonna run in, grab my supplies, and we're gonna get back on the road. Oh my God, this Walmart is a madhouse. I had to wait 30 minutes at least in line. The registers were packed. Never seems to fail. It seems like everybody wants to check out all at once, but the store is really, really busy. So I got plenty of drinks for our stay. I got another bottle of water. I already have three bottles in there, but I wanted to pick up another. I'm gonna make nachos, so I got some chips for that. And Jeff has pork. We're gonna do shredded pork on that. Got some organic cheese. I like buying my organic products if they have them here at Walmart because they're much cheaper than anywhere else. And I also got palmetto spread with jalapenos. I'm gonna do a palmetto a grilled cheese. Those are so good. I got some bacon, I'm almost out of that. I really like this Nature's Choice because they don't have any preservatives or um, nitrates in here. They just use sea salt. Same with the ham, I buy the ham and the turkey. The double pack's much cheaper. Then I get some cream cheese, organic, organic. All right, we're good to go. So the RV is stocked good. It's just these things I was running low on. Right next to me in the parking lot, they have a Southern Soul Food food truck. Ugh, I didn't just buy all the groceries. I would definitely grab me something. Dave and Jeff are parked right over there for me. I'm ready whenever y'all are. Okay, I am not going that way. It's just ridiculous even though Google is telling me to go that way. Turn right toward North Main Street, then yeah. turn right onto North Main Street. We have to take a right when we get out of here, so we don't really need a light, but it was taking us to the light. And there's a traffic jam, an ambulance is here, a police officer. This is a messy Walmart, I'll tell you what. Onto North Main Street. Oh my God, even the road out here is busy. <laughs> Ugh, what time is it? Well, it is five o'clock, so gotta say that. Everybody's 
getting off and heading home. All right, well, maybe I'll just time lapse this part, see how it goes. Okay, that wasn't too awful bad. A gentleman was nice enough and let me out. So that was awesome of him. And we're stuck at another light though. Yeah, this is, area is very congested. There's a Cracker Barrel across the street. They do not allow, well, I don't know if they allow, it's just uh, the reviews we read is that their parking lot is too small. Yeah, that's nice that the freeway is moving. That is nice that the freeway is moving. <laughs> the right lane to take the I-26 East ramp. All right, we're going to be getting on 26 and heading east. In a quarter mile, merge onto I-26 East. Will do. Good thing we're not stopping at that rest area. Wow, it is lined with truckers even coming out. Huh. Traffic, whoa, that exit is lined up with cars. Must be a popular exit. We are getting closer to Charleston. Might have to rethink actually going to the campsite today. 75, then oh. turn left on the Mazic Road. Hey, the Wiener uh, Mobile. Yeah, I just saw that. Oscar Mayer Wiener <laughs> vehicle. There goes the Oscar Mayer Wiener thing again. As you saw, we took that exit. We decided that it would be best not to fight the five o'clock traffic in Charleston. We're just gonna start early in the morning and get a fresh start. And since we're so close to Charleston, we might actually even go do some exploring in Charleston before we head to camp.